Hello, my name is Nuan Devapriyas. I am a postdoctoral fellow at Carleton University. First, I would like to thank LAMPS for giving us this opportunity. My advisor, Professor Ron Miller, and I used LAMPS to understand the shock response of materials at the nanoscale. We conducted MD simulations of projectile impact test and plate impact. This is the MD model we used to simulate the projectile impact test. This movie shows two impact simulations. In this sample, we keep aluminum on the strike phase. In this one, the polymer is on the strike phase. The initial velocity of the projectile is 1.5 kilometers per second. Based on these simulations, we computed the specific penetration energies that is the energy absorbed by the unit mass of the target material in the strike phase area. The specific penetration energy of the target with the polymer on the strike phase area is uh, higher compared to the target with aluminum on the strike phase. This observation contradicts the macroscopic experimental observations due to the uh, difference in the energy dissipation mechanisms at the two length scales. For example, we observe the polymer layer on the strike phase area lead to an effective distribution of impact loading to the underneath um, aluminum layer. In contrast, the shock wave propagating through the aluminum layer generates a spore like failure in the polymer layer on the back, back face. This observation motivated us to further investigate the spoliation mechanism at the nanoscale. These are some of our plate impact test simulations. We computed the spole strength by following two methods. The first method is an indirect method which uses the free surface velocity history. This method is commonly used in macroscopic experiments. The second is a direct method which uses the atomic stresses in the spole region. The spole strength computed from the direct method is consistently higher than the strength obtained from the indirect method. Moreover, the strength computed from the direct method show a noticeable agreement with the fracture nucleation strength. This study showed us that the preparation of properly equilibrated MD model can be very challenging. Therefore, we would like to share some of our MD models with the LAMPS community. You can download them from GitHub.